Do you remember as a kid being told by some of your friends maybe what you say is what you get? Well, there's some truth in that. The Bible tells us that death and life are in the power of the tongue. In that order, by the way, death and life. And I don't know if sometimes we don't really realize how powerful what we say is. Our words have weightiness. Our words produce death or life. In the book of James, the writer talks about how the tongue is the rudder of life. And what we say, the words we choose, the attitudes we take on and articulate with our mouth actually steer our life in a particular direction. I believe that you can curse yourself with your words. I believe that you can almost uh, articulate what's called self-fulfilling prophecy. But the, the point is our words have creative power. Our words have creative power. And so what we say many times does come to pass. Uh, how we express ourselves and our emotions and our frustrations many times they're not solving anything, they're actually perpetuating an ongoing problem in our life. I want to challenge you today to become consciously aware of what you say. Uh, things like, I'm sick and tired of this. Well, you just said you're sick and you're tired and you wonder why you're tired all the time. Or how about this one? I I'm sure none of you have ever said this. This is driving me crazy. And then you wonder why you're frazzled and frustrated and your mind feels like it's just in turmoil all the time. Little things like this seem silly. But I bet you there's some even more serious things that you've said. Maybe to yourself, maybe to your child, maybe to your spouse, the people that you love. And sometimes our words, uh, when we project those things, they do come from someplace in our heart. Out of the bunch of the heart, the mouth does speak. And we can actually damage ourselves and we can also damage those that we love. So I want to challenge you, become aware. Be disciplined in your hearing. Be disciplined in your listening. When you're about to speak, grab that thought. Grab those words and listen to what you're saying because the words that you speak will bring life or death. My name is Brian Holmes, and I'm thankful that you're on this program with us today. May God richly bless you, and I look forward to seeing you again very, very soon.